nikambia nimechoka tu sihitaji tena kufanya kazi. Kambia basi toka, nitafanyaje? Tampigia. Kweli alimpigia lakini walikuwa naongea kivingine maana mimi mwenyewe kiingereza sikielewi. Kwa anaongea hapo anaongea hapo. Mimi mshahara wenyewe sio laki na nusu. Mshahara ni shilingi 70. Na hali asifanyaje? Sifahamu kukipika. Ni bora tu ungeniambia. Twende nikafanyaje? Nikakuelekeza au na binti yako mkubwa hapo ungemwambia kaja akanifanyaje? Kanisaidia kunielekeza. Usinisumbue. Basi mimi nikaa nimeondoka. Baadaye akaniita tena. Kanipa manguo sijui kamerunda ya mwezi mzima hata sifahamu. Kayachukua yote. Yes. Hello. Habari? Kwa sana. Hey, my name is Edgar Diambo. I am a freelancer journalist. Uh-huh. Uh, I have a certain sister of mine hapa. I have a certain sister of mine hapa. Ambaye alikuwa na, alikuwa akifanyia kazi. Of course, to my amazing people, my name is Edgar Diambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. And guys, uh, today I think I have this uh, special segment whereby I'll be hosting one of our ladies ambaye ametoka to our, you know, there's just a neighboring country na amepata kufika maeneo za Kenya. Kwa maana ile tu ya kupiga hustling kama kawa, kama wale wengine kama wasichana pia wengine ambao wanajituma. Na the main reason why yako maeneo za Kenya ni kwa sababu alikuja kutafuta hela, alikuja kufanya kazi uh, na wale watu ambao pia walijaribu kumleta huku ni kwamba ni watu ambao wajibiki. We have been talking about agencies ambazo zinaleta watu na baadaye wanalenga watu kabisa wanakuacha kwenye shida uh, wakati unalilia unataka usaidizi hakuna mtu yeyote yule ambaye anakuja kujitokeza kukusaidia dada yetu hapa uh, i happen to reach her because of the kind of condition sasa hizi yuko maeneo za Kenya na hana chochote wala hana lolote ajui aende wapi ajui yoyote hapa Nairobi lakini akijaribu kupigia yule mtu ambaye alimpata kumleta maeneo za Kenya ni mtu ambaye pia mm, amsaidii chochote yani msaidii kwa njia yoyote so guys listen to the part of this story because i have this amazing sister and i hope you are going to get a solution on how she can travel back to you know uh, Tanzania apate kuendelea na maisha yake kwa sababu yale ambayo anasema kwa kweli amepitia anahisi kwamba amefika mwisho let's just hear from her because i think she has a lot more to say i think we are going to use a layman language so that everybody get to understand exactly what is going down today so uh, my sister habari lakini na jua anajua changamoto yapo ya. Uh, kidogo tu nataka tu tuelezee kidogo ili kuaje uje uh, kwa majina unaitwa nani kwanza. Mimi naitwa Ethnes John, nimetokea Tanzania. Nilikuja huko Nairobi kufanya kazi za ndani. Lakini baada ya kuja kufanya kazi za ndani nikaisi labda maisha yangu yatakuwa vizuri. Nilichokuja mm. kuambulia huku mm. ni shida. Mm -hmm. Sio kwamba eti na watukana wa Kenya hapana. Mm -hmm bali hata wasitana wenzangu wanaokuja kufanya kazi Kenya mm. waangalie watu wa kuwafanyia kazi mm. usijua kasubutu kwenda kwa kwa mkenya mm. bora umfanyie mkenya ambaye unajua huyu mm. ni mkenya wa ndani sio mkenya wa nje mm. sasa wa Somali mm. wa Somali sio watu sana mm. sio watu ni wanyama wali hawafai kufanyia kazi yoyote mm. ni zaidi ya kukutesa na kukunyonyesa na kukuona we kama mbwa Nilikuwa nafanywa vitu hata kama unavyotaka kula unakuja unapangiwa muda wa kula unakula umesimama sio kukaa unaambia mimi binti yangu anavyoanza kula sio kwamba anatumia masaa mia. ni unakula haraka haraka kama vile uko jeshini hayo ni maisha kweli ya kuishi kwa mtu na mimi ni kama binti yake na, na binti yake naye ana umri kama wa kwangu kidogo tu tungependa tu tuelezee kidogo a kwanza unatoka maeneo za Tanzania na wapi ni natokea Tanzania ya Mwanza. Mwanza. Mm. Ah tueleze pia kidogo. Ah ilikuwaaje ukajuana kwamba kuna kazi maeneo za Nairobi ilikuwaaje nani yule ambaye alikusaidia kupata kazi maeneo za Nairobi na pia kusafiri kwa kulisafiri kivipi mpaka maeneo za Kenya. Mimi ndikuwa natafuta kazi za ndani. Ndio nikaa nimempata baba anaitwa Sheswale. Mm. Nikamuulizia kama niambiwa anatakiwa msichana wa kazi aende leo leo na nauli yake imeshafanyaje imeshatumwa tena ilikuwa inabidi tuje wawili yule mwingine bosi wake akamekosa nini nauli na jaja mpaka leo mimi nauli yangu ilikuwa imeshapatikana ikabidi wanikatie tiketi tukaenda naye mpaka hapo stand akanielekeza sehemu ya kufikia nikawa nimefikia hapo silali nikalala hapo kesho yake jioni ndo akawa amenipandisha nikawa nimekuja huko Kenya nilipofika Kenya sikuwa na chochote ndo nikawa nimechukua namba ya huyu bosi wangu 
nikampiga kama niambia chukua mwenye pikipiki hapo akulete mpaka nyumbani basi nikamempata mbaba mmoja vya kama niambia ukishafika huko Kenya inabidi upate rafiki na uongee naye kwa nini kwa wema maana unapoenda kufanya kazi hao watu hawaaminiki kesho na kesho kuto unaweza kupata tatizo una ndugu wa kuongea naye na kweli mimi sema tu siku yashika yale maneno yale baba ningeashika hata nisinge subutu kwenda kwa yule mama hivyo fika pale tukamkuta yule baba mwenye mji mwenyewe alikuwa anatoka ndani kama nikaribisha akachukua na zile namba za huyo baba mimi kaingia ndani kani nimepandishwa kwenye chumba cha juu kipo karibu yake hapo niambia nisubiri hapo nije nikufanyia nini interview sasa mimi nikawa nafikiria interview gani mimi nimekuja tu kufanya nini kazi baada binti yake mkubwa akawa amekuja niambia wewe <laughs> ehe kama utaweza we ni binti kweli mimi sikufanyia nje siku ya fatilia nikaibidi tu nikae hapo nikakaa ilivyofika saa sita kamtuma binti yake mkijana yake mdogo mdogo kamuite aunti nikanimeenda kaniweza unajua kupika nikaambia ndio unajua kupika kila kitu ninakijua aha mimi nataka uniandikie maelezo hapa na kweli nilichukua kalamu nikaanza kuandika maelezo yangu yote kwenye kala, kwenye karatasi so anakuambia uandike uh, vitu vyote ambavyo eh, vyote ninavyojua kupika niliandika hmm. baadaye akaniambia nenda jikoni ukafanya hiyo ukapike kitu ambacho unakifahamu nikasema haina shida nilienda kupika mandazi nikapika na chapati nikawa nimempikia na pilau nilivyokileta yule mama alikisukuma akawa amekirusha kwa kaniambia we ni zilo ujui chochote kaniambia aunti mimi hiki chakula ndo ninachopika lakini hicho chakula chenu cha Kisomalia sifanyeje sifahamu kukipika ni bora tu ungeniambia Tende nikafanyaje nikakuelekeza au na binti yako mkubwa hapo ungemwambia kaja akanifanyaje kanisaidia kunielekeza usinisumbue basi mimi nikawa nimeondoka baada ya kaniita tena kanipa manguo sijawe kamerunda ya mwezi mzima hata sifahamu kayachukua yote na ya watoto wao akanirudia kafue nikawa nimeenda kufua nilimaliza kufua muda saa 12 jioni ndo mdangu wa kupumzika ile nakaa tu hivi nimemaliza kufua nikaitwa tena njo nikapewa hilo la kudekia aya madasi jinsi jindo mnaita madasi jinsi ya kudekia kwa chini sio yale yenye mti ya, ku, ya kusimama unadeki umesimama hapana yale ya, ya kuinama naambiwa yani nichukue omo nifute yani kutumia nguvu unajua nguvu unadeki yani kwa kutumia nguvu uchafu usionekana tamu yani hata karatasi sionekane mimi nikawa nafanya hiyo kazi baadaye nikamfuata anti kiukweli mimi gongo na nyuma siwezi kufanya nje kuendelea kuinama na vyumba vyako ni vingi vyumba 13 sivifanya nje siviwezi vingine nitafanya nje nitafanya kesho umekuja kufanya kazi au umekuja kukulala ngambia hapana sijaja kulala bali nimekuja kutafuta pesa kwa ajili ya nani ya mamangu matusi yakaendelea matusi yakaendelea hapo eh mimi nikaona hii ni changamoto hapana siwezi fanya nje kuvumilia ni heli nimfate nikamueleze sasa mimi nikawa naogopa mi wana muamini sana Mungu. Nikaingia chumbani kwangu nikapiga mgoti nikaanza kulia nikamwambia Mungu naenda kumfata huyu mama. Naomba unisimamie nipate ujasiri wa kumuelezea kinachoniumiza alioone. Kweli nilimfata. Yaani ni kama tu ujasiri ulinijia. Kamfata anti. Naomba mpigie shehe mwambie kwamba mimi nimechoka kutafutia mfanyakazi mwingine mimi siwezi. Akawa amenguna. Niambia he he umechoka nani? Kaambia nimechoka tu, sihitaji tena kufanya kazi. Kaambia basi toka, nitafanyaje? Tampigia. Kweli alimpigia lakini alikuwa anaongea kivingine maana mimi mwenyewe kiingereza sikielewi. Kwa anaongea hapo anaongea hapo. Mimi mshahara wenyewe sio laki na nusu. Mshahara ni shilingi sabini. Na aliniambia yeye mwenye kwa mdomo wake. Kaniambia hizi siku ulizo kuja siwezi kukulipa laki moja na nusu. Nitakupa shilingi sabini ndio nitakayo nitakayo kulipa. Jinsi unavyozidi kufanya kazi ndio nitakuwa nazidi kukuongezea nini? Mshahara. Kasema eh kwa hiyo shaki pindi natoka kula iwana niambia mshahara nikishafika nitapoa laki moja na nusu na nitakuwa napoa kule nguo. Je, ningeacha hata nguo zangu ningekuwa navaa nini? Ni so, oh, that is 70,000. Mm. That is 7 7,000. <laughs> kwa alikuwa anakuambia baadaye uh, nani yani kila mtu huko sheka alikuambia eti watakuwa nakulipa hiyo yani 10000 yani 10000 alafu moja na nusu 
wakakwambia kwamba watakuwa wakulipa sasa ya 70 yeye mwenyewe ya mwanamke mwanamke ndo aliyeongea kwao anasema hiyo ile yenyewe hata haikutosha hata nauli haitosha nikamwambia kwa hizo siku bosi nilizofanya kazi kweli nauli sinitosha hapana naomba tu nipatie mimi hata chochote yani hata shilingi 10000 tu naomba unipe niende pale na nini kwenye wanapokatia ticket nikafanyaje nikawaombe watanisaidia maana watu wengi sana wanaosaidiwa naomba tu unipe alitachamaa sana ni mwezo wa mno tena nilitukanwa <laughs> siku amini hiyo siku kabidi tu niondoke nikaingia chumbani kwangu nikaanza kulia baadaye akaniita tena kaniambia pika chakula cha watoto nilimwangalia maana mara ya kwanza nilipokuja nikimwaga chakula jeki nikipika basi niliingia nda huko jikoni nikaa napika basi ni nzuri ile mtoto wake tukao tumeelewana akaja kana nielekeza kuombe kwenye kamera anaona kila kitu kinachoendelea akamuita binti yake unamuelekeza endo kija kazi huko ndani binti nakasema hapana mbona tu nikamuelekeza maana hiki chakula unacho ujitamwambia kipike afanye akiwezi ni cha Kisomali nisikuone ah ikawa ni shida sasa bahati nzuri dirisha lilikuwa ni karibu na nini na jiko kila nilichokuwa nakifanya binti baada ya kutoka kula akawa amekuja akaanza kunielekeza fanye hivi fanye hivi kamwambia haya ilo si alikuwa anakuelezea kwa dirisha eh hey, mm-hmm. ilo siende kumwambia nani mama kaambia hata haina shida sijali sitamwambia akasema mm-hmm. haya siku zikaenda ni mabango 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 siku hiyo ndivyo chomo moto hapa na pengine nilimfuata kamwambia aunty mimi nahitaji kwenda nyumbani jisi kama vile homa Afu na isika yule mamangu ayuko sawa huko. Hivi <laughs> hivi bado hujaacha tu kuja kuniambia ujinga mamako. Wangapi hawana mama lakini bado wanaishi. Kambia aunty kweli unanitukania mamangu. Unajua mamangu aliponitoa, kanisomesha mpaka nikasoma. Leo hii umekuja kunipata huku. Kanibebea mimba miezi tisa. No mpaka umekuja kunifuata kuenda kufanyia kazi bado hata ndio namtukana mama yangu hebu nitoke hapo ndo akamnichoma hapa akanibandika na hapa mpaka sasa hivi panauma nasikia maumivu tu nasema hapana siwezi kuendelea kuishi hapa ndiendelea ndiendelea ndio hiyo siku nikaa nimekaa huko ndani na mazo binti yake akaeja alikuwa anapenda kuniita Hadija maana na majina mawili moja la Kiislamu moja la Kristo Anita Adija mbona mawazo? Kaambia na mawazo tu maana nimemisi sana kwenda hapi nyumbani na mateso nayo yapata kwa mama yako hapa yamefanyaje? Yamenichosha. Kuniambia nitakusaidia sikuamini nitakusaidia. Akawa amefunga mlango, aliangaza angaza, akawa amefunga mlango, akaanza kuniambia mimi nitakusaidia Adija utatoroka hapa nyumbani, takuzimia kila kitu ta pamoja na nini? na hizo kamera ili ufanyeje uondoke kaambia haina shida ukinisaidia nitashukuru hata nitakapoondoka nikaenda huko nyumbani nitaenda kuelezea ni jinsi gani ulivyonisaidia ukasema haya ila usije ukasubutu kufanyeni kunitaja kaambia hata usijali sitakutaja kwa mtu yote haya alinipa shingi hamsini nyewe mnatumia kama hamsini kwetu tunatumia shingi elfu moja kaniambia kwa sasa sina hela hii hapa ndio itafanyeni takusaidia akasema haya akawa amenipatia na hiyo simu yake kaniambia ukiona msada upo wote pale kwenye nani kwenye ukatia ticket naomba uuze hii simu ondoke uende kwenye maana mama yangu namfahamu anajulikana na watu wengi sana unaweza kufanya kitu chochote hata kwenu usifike akasema hata usijali nitafanya hivyo ni hiyo saa kumi nikawa nakusanya ngozi zangu haraka 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 hivyo fika saa kumi na mbili alienda kuzima kila kitu kweli alizima bado ndo miaka alikuwa ameenda dukani akanizimia kila kitu akaniambia tanguliza ili begi peleka pale getini usiangalie usawa wa kamera angalia hivi maana kamera sinaangalia hivi wewe angalia hivi akasema haya usijali na kweli niliweka hivi begi langu nikarudia na lingine baada ya hapo nikawa nimefanyaje ni muondoka ile natoka tu hivi napita hivi na kwenye kona nikutana na binti mwingine alikuwa anaelekea na nili town sasa ile binti na yeye nilimuelezea sasa ile nafika tu mara huyo 
mume wake na yeye yani tulipisha ni kama Mungu tu kaka yangu ni kama Mungu tu kaniongoza yani anapita hivi na mimi niko hapa yule binti ikabidi aanze kufanyaje kunikinga ndio tulikuwa tumefanyaje tumepita kaniambia tena kakulifia nauli wende wapi tanikaambia hapana hata kama nikishafika town siwezi kufanyaje kupata nauli ya kuelekea huko ndio nikaa nimepita kale kakona kakuja hivi nilimwona yule mzee tuliyekuwa pale ni beba na pikipiki nikasema ni muita hapana leo ni sita nikasema amna wenda na hiyo umeshampigia nini simu haiwezekani ndo nikana kuja nikaja 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 nikakutana na huyu dada ambaye ni Latifa nikamuulizia nimezia dada samani nikasema bila samani ndikuwa na shida ya kuulizia wanapokatia nini ticket akaniuliza wewe unatokea wapi kama kama nafanya kazi huko nataka nielekea wapi Tanzania kaniambia basi twende nikakuonyeshe wanapokatia nini ticket nasema haya hivyo enda pale kwenye ticket sasa niliogopa kufika nilikuwa nimebeba beg nikasema nitaenda kuanzaje nikaelezee mimi nasema hapana ngoja nirudi kwa huyu dada kanimerudi hapo nikamwambia kaambia mimi hata kama akitaka simu tafanyeje mtapo dada kaninzia akaniambia simu ni muhimu usiuze nasema ni kweli simu ni muhimu na nilikuwa nimengangana kweli niuze simu niliendelea kukaa pale baadaye nilipofika mida ya saa saa tano sijui kwa saa sita saa sita sijui saa tano ya usiye kwa mchana mchana nikaenda kwa huyo kaka anekata ticket nikaenda nikamueleza 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 kila kitu akaniambia sasa dadangu utakusaidia nini sasa hivi magari yamefanyaje yamejaa labda usubirie kwenye tarehe 26 27 nasema haya nikaendelea kukaa pale alinunulia chakula hata huyo dada alinipa chai nikaa nimekunywa na hiyo kaka kama nunulia lunch ya mchana nikaa nimefanyaje nimekula Baadae huyu akawa amekuja kumbe kwa najiana na hiyo kaka anekata ticket akaongea na akamwambia tarehe 20 Shina sita, shina sita. Ufanyeje? Aje ili tujue takufanya. Takufanya. Basi nilipofika ya juzi. Nilienda naye. Tena nilikuwa ni jana yeye jana. Nilienda naye. Tukaenda kuongea na akasema Ijumatano atafanyeje? atakuja azidi tu kufanyeje? Kuvumilia. Na akawa amenipa ushauri akaniambia, usije kasubutu ukafika hata huko Tanzania ukaambiwa na mtu tunatafuta mfanya kazi ukakurupuka ukaenda tafuta makabila ya kufanyaje ya kufanyia kazi mimi nikaa nakubalia tu ndo na mawazo sasa nashangaa leo tumempigia simu huyo kaka kubuulizia maana alisema leo tutaondoka huyo dada Latifa amempigia simu na yakabadilika anasema ela nimetuma nyumbani Nimekabo nimesoma nika sana. Ulikuwa umeshampa pesa, kuna pesa alikuwa ameshampea. Alikuwa sijampa, nilimwomba tu msaada. Yeye akasema hata nisaidie. Kwa nimekabo nikabidi nimwombe dada Latifa nini? Si nimemtumia message aja tu ajibu mpaka sasa hivi. Na nyumbani nani sasa hivi anaangalia mamako? Unasema kwa mamako limwacha kama ni mgonjwa. Nyumbani nani anaangalia mamako? Yupo babangu wa Kambo. Na wadogo zangu wadogo wadogo tu na nyendo wanonitegemea mimi. Bila mimi. Ndio baba kambo asipendi kutafuta hela. Ndio mimi kinachoendelea. Ila ninachopenda kuwashauri mabinti wanaofanya kazi. Wasipende kuwafanyia wafanyia kazi kwa Somali. Wa Somali sio watu. Kujua nyama. Kingine ninachowaomba mimi nitazama. Leta <laughs> jimsa dawenu. Nisaidie tu nifike kwa mamangu. <laughs> Sina zaidi hayo. Naomba mmsaidie. Mungu tutafika nyumbani kidogo tutafika. Ah, uh, to my amazing people, ah, uh, niko naye nambari ya uh, the number ya ule ambaye alikuwa ni tajiri wake. Nataka nimpigie simu. Mimi binafsi I just want to call uh, this person ambaye alimleta maeneo za Kenya na alikuwa anamfanyia kazi. Uh, amesema kwa kweli alikuwa ni msomali. I want to make a call. Uh, nimpigie mimi mwenyewe simu kwa sababu niko naye namba yake hapa. Nataka nimpigie simu. Ah uh, umesema jina unaitwa nani? Naitwa Epines John. Yeah? Epines John. Epines John. Mm-hmm. Okay, wacha tumpigie simu tuone kama kwamba atashika. Chani yake ile. Loud speaker.
Yes. Hello. Abari? Hey, my name is Edgo Diambo. I am a freelancer journalist. Uh -huh. uh, I have a certain sister of mine, Hapa. I have a certain sister of mine, Hapa. Ambaye alikuwa, na, alikuwa kifanya kazi. Kuna one of our sister Hapa alikuwa na kufanya kazi ya metoka maineo za uh, Tanzania. Anaitu Adija. Na saizi yuko maineo za Kenya and she is stranded. Eh? So I happen to uh, like have a talk with her. Na kanielezea all of these kind of uh, chinya napitia. Mbaka saivi sasa bado yuko stranded up my nose a Kenya. So I wanted to know exactly process any document that you guys muko nayo ya kwenyesha kwamba this lady was allowed to travel kukuja my nose a Kenya. Do you have any document zake za kwenyesha she was allowed to travel? Because right now she's like an alien. For what I know information about her, uh -huh. she's from Spania. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know if she's from Tanzania, but she told me she has come from Nigeria. I think so from there. Uh -huh. So when she came, she tried to work for me some days or almost four days. Was it four days or five days? Akaiba uh -huh. to As morning hours into my help of Muschana. I tried to follow up her call, her phone, mm -hmm. and I a kabisa. Kuna mm -hmm. mara lakini she has not received a mezima. Uh -huh. I reported the case to the police. Uh, which police station? Eh, uh, so police station. Okay. I told her this and this and this and this and this. Uh, and an incident happened this morning. Mm -hmm. Since that day up to now, I am finding her, but I a kabisa. Yeah, that's the last last thing. But she took a lot of things, a lot of things. I think they just follow up. So okay. I don't see yeah. her. I wanted to know. Okay. Uh, I wanted to know because uh, uh, this lady, she happens not to be a Kenyan because uh, she happens to come from uh, Tanzania. And uh, the other yeah, thing is that, that uh, how did you allow this lady to work for you if you guys, you never have like the full details of this lady, where she comes from, who brought her, the parents of to this lady? May I get to know you know, exactly, uh, please? You know, uh, to, 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 they normally bring the, the lady, I normally ask her, does she have ID? I, they normally call her, no, she has not reached that stage. Sometimes they say, uh, sometimes they say as uh, she's Kenyan, but she has forgotten her ID mm -hmm. in their home. You know, they give out a lot of excuses. Mm -hmm. Now, because I think I have the full details, about uh, her, uh, you know, how she happens to travel. I wanted also to know exactly because uh, if uh, this lady happens to work for you, you have like a certain agreement between you two people because uh, you cannot just allow somebody to work for you if you don't have the exact details. That's why even if you claim that this lady happens to steal something from you guys, you need to have the details on how you can trace this person because you cannot live with a person and yet if something happens, you don't know exactly where to start, like, you know, tracing this person. Were their parents informed about her yeah. working for you? Her parents, the first day, the mm. guy who brought me, I called him. Mm. I told him this and this has happened, and I don't have the lady. So what can we do? I gave out her number. We already have her number. Mm -hmm. I told him, please try to call her. But somebody has taken something and not received my call. He told me, why don't you call her? I said, I told him, I tried to call her, mm -hmm. but she's not speaking my call. Mm -hmm. Please, why don't you try to call to you? Mm -hmm. See if, if she was going to pick the call from you. Mm -hmm. Since that day, fine, but she has put off her phone. Mm -hmm. So now, if I give myself, I will stress where, where is she? I don't know. Mm -hmm. do, 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 don't you feel like uh, sometimes it's like a... Uh, uh, you will be held capable because if this person happens to work for you and uh, this person is is missing, uh, do you think, and uh, she happens also to travel all the way, she's not a Kenyan, and uh, at now, for now, she's not a, like, you know, you don't know exactly where she is. Do you think it's a threat to you that uh, the whereabouts of this lady is more concerned? You know, yes, yes, it is. But uh. Uh, if the lady, she has got intentionally, she knows that she where she was going to. I am sure hundred percent she is within Nairobi, yeah. but I don't know exactly where she is. Mm -hmm. And I try to find her mm -hmm. where I call to outside there, ask these uh, borders which are outside. Mm -hmm. But I was unable to find her because.
the world of today is not the world of uh, putting and finding someone. Mm. I try to call her. Her call is off. So, brother, I was unable to be met by a stress of where is this lady? The last CCTV camera, when she was leaving that morning, I had it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so lastly, so okay. Uh, Lastly, because it was good also to listen to you know the part, the other part of uh, uh, the the you know uh, the accused, so that uh, when I happens to publish this, I think uh, it is good also to uh, give the other people also the chance of reply, yeah? the right to reply. Yeah? Yes. Meanwhile, I think uh, I have her here, and uh, before I wanted also she can also happens to talk to you. We get to understand also the part of you know what do you know about her. I think you can just still communicate with her. Yeah, hello. 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 I'm Bali, boss. I'm sorry, son of a bitch. Zamata Soyako. Zamata Soyako. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Ulicho kifanya kwangu na kiona ni kizuli sana. Ni vingi sana bosi divyo nifanyia. Mpaka sa hivi bosi na kuchukia, mpaka maisha yako yote na yachukia bosi. Ujui tu. Uli nitoa Tanzania ukiona ni ambio tanipenda kama binti yako. Nye, ayo ndo mapenzi. Minai naungea na adija. Unaungea na adija. Hepi. Ndo mimi. Kwasa hepi ni kulize mami. Eh, kuna, ni kuna, kitu ya, kuna kitu ya yote ni mekupanya mimi, wakapa menyezi mungu. Na hivyo, hapa kwangu kuna kamera inaonesha. Ile asubuhi ulikuwa unatoka, umeane na vitu zetu zote. Umeane na maunguo, umeane na simu ya watu, mm. umeane na chakula, umeane, umeane na bedsheet. Hata mimi sitamani ya kitu umeenda. Bosi. Kuna kitu ya yote mekukosea. Bosi, ni kulize swali bosi. Eh. Kuna kitu chochoto licho kikuta kimepelea mwa ndani hata chakula chako? Ile kitu mnachukua yote mami unajijua we mwenyewe. Ah, ah sio anajijua mimi mwenyewe bosi. Hata yule dada aliyenipokea hapa nilio ndiye ninakaa naye hata yeye ni shahidi. Si kuchukua chakula chochote zaidi ya ya nini mtaje? Ni mtaje. Umechukua nini? Si kuchukua chakula chako na hiyo diabetes sijui nimechukua chakula chako, sijui nimechukua sijui nguo zako. Hivi kwa nini basi wewe ni muongo sana wewe? Eh? Kwa nini si mimi si muongo wewe ndio umeharibu. Mimi nilikwambia siku ile kama unataka kurudi wewe umetoka umeniambia umetoka. Haya binti yako mwenyewe ndo aliyenipatia simu. Afu mnasema eti kwamba niliiba. Haki ya Mungu basi pesa yangu utairudisha. Labda mimi sio yepi niliyetokea Tanzania. Mimi mimi ile pesa ambayo nimekulea ume Kwa nini ulikuwa na inyang'ania kila nikikwambia bosi nipatie nauli niondoko na niambia wapigie watu wa nyumbani kwenu wa kutumia nauli. Mara anasema mzee kasema hakutaki. Ah 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 we see if atakubali kupokea simu yangu. Acha nimpigie mwisho tusikie kama atakubali kupokea simu tena. So I'm calling. Nampigia tena tusikie kama atapokea simu. Uh, subscriber is back. If you uh, jamani uh, inamaanisha kwamba kuna ukweli ambao uh, kwa kweli imeidhirika kwa sababu I'm trying to call the person na ina kwamba alikama amefunga simu. O inaingia tena alikuwa amefunga lakini tena inaingia. Tujue kama sasa tashika ama vipi.
wakati wangu ni kwamba uh, badamu sasa ashiki simu kabisa uh, unaweza ona kwamba ashiki simu but mean well guys acha tu nizungumze kidogo uh, amesema kwamba mwanadada huyu uh, alimpata kumibia vitu fulani fulani lakini amejaribu pia kujiexplain pale akijaribu kumuelezea alafu baadaye tumeona kwamba amekata simu amekata simu kidogo akaenda offline kidogo tena karudi lakini sasa amekataa kushika simu kabisa mean well guys acha niulize tu kidogo Uh, these are boss ambaye alikuwa ni boss wake she happens not to be a kenyan because hawa ni watu ambao wametoka somalia wametoka somalia na wako maeneo za kenya and uh, ha, walikuwa wame, wamechukua msichana kutoka maeneo za tanzania sasa hivi kwamba huyu msichana yuko maeneo za tanzania and uh, kuna zile vitu ambazo nimeuliza kwa sababu we have like uh, if you happens to have like a contract ya huyu msichana wanafaa kuwa na zile details za huyu msichana kuonyesha kwamba huyu msichana alitoka tanzania na kuja kunifanyia kazi mtu fulani fulani mimi ni mtu fulani na huyu msichana fulani niko na yeye na pia wakuwa wameongea na wale wazazi wa huyu msichana wakamuelezea sisi ndio ambao tuko na Uh, mtoto wako. Uh, we don't know exactly the criteria that was used to make sure that this lady amepata ku travel kutoka maeneo za Tanzania mpaka hapa Kenya. The criteria that this boss ambaye ni boss wake and the person ambaye ni Shikim uh, Shakim huko maeneo za Tanzania. We don't know exactly the process that these people happens to use ndio huyo mwanadada akafika hapa. Kidogo tu pia ungetuelezea how old are you kuna miaka mingapi? Na miaka 20. Akona miaka 20. So uko na mtoto ama wewe bado uja ujikuwa na mtoto? Hapana. Hauna mtoto. Mm. So guys, alikuja maeneo za Nairobi hapa kwa kwa minaji ile tu ya kufanya kazi na kutafutia wale wadogo wake ambao wako huko na pia mama yake mzazi ambaye inasemekana kwamba yuko maeneo za hospitalini yeye anaugua au vimbe kwa tumbo ya. So guys, mimi chenye naujiuliza kwamba why Uh, boss wake mbona akakata simu kwa sababu uh, it is not good to akate simu alafu baadaye nimejaribu kumpigia pia ashiki let me just do the last call nijaribu kumpigia simu ya mwisho kabisa i just want to call this boss ya mwisho kabisa is not reachable We will notify you when the mobile subscriber is back. Oh, so jamani amepata kufunga simu. Inasema ukweli kidhirika uongo uijondoa kabisa. Sasa guys you can see. Guys uh, give us the comment section. Tuambie tuelezeni what do you think about the, our sister's issue? Issue yake kabisa. Wewe unaionaje? Uh, tunaona kwamba wasichana wetu tu mara kadhaa tumekuwa tukiongelea wasichana wetu kuteseka maeneo ya Saudi uh, you know the Gulf country that is uh, uh, Iraq uh, nini uh, Syria we have uh, uh, you know uh, Gulf at large mambo na Saudi uh, you know Iraq Lebanon and now today it happens that our sister anaona kama Kenya ni kama some of these Gulf countries anaona ni kama Lebanon nyingine iko maeneo za Kenya kwa sababu yale mateso ambayo amepitia hata yeye mwenyewe amesema kwamba aezi ruhusu aezi hata kubalia aezi hata sema kwamba uh, apeane proposal ya kwamba watu wakuje wafanye kazi wafanyie uh, wa Somali ambao wako hapa Kenya kazi tell us that the comment section what do you think about this like uh, lastly wacha tusikize kutoka kwa dada yetu uh, 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 unge, ungependa kuelezea watu nini ama ungependa uh, watu wa kusaidia kivipi mimi ningependa tu anisaidie nifike nyumbani mm ili tuangalie jinsi ya kumsaidia mama yetu maana ndani yetu tegemea ndio hicho tu nilichokuwa nawaomba na pia <laughs> sio kwamba na tukana wa Kenya hapana ila na shauli tu wanawake ambao wanataka wa mabinti zao wakafanye kazi kuanzia Kenya wa Tanzania na nchi zingine tu za nje wasijao kamruhusu binti wake na kuwafanyia wa Somali kazi Wasomali ni watu wabaya sana. Wabaya mno. Ni yale ukamfanyie mkenya wa ndani ambao unajua huyu anaaminika ana, anatambulika yani. Sio ukwenda kwa wao ambao unashindwa hata kumjua mama yake zaidi ya kupoa tu <laughs> majanga tu unavyomuelezea mama wangu anaumwa anazidi kukutukana mara anakwambia mi mwenyewe nina mama kwani wewe tu ndo una mama mwenyewe mimi ningawashauri tu mabinti wenzangu msisubutu msije mkajaribu na hata kama ukiwa unakuja kwenye nchi tafuta mtu ambaye unajua atakusaidia kama nilivyosaidiwa mimi na watu kwa sasa nilikuwa bila huyu binti huyu dada Latifa pamoja na ulafiki yake ningekuwa wapi mimi zaidi ya kufanywa kitendo kibaya <laughs> na kurudi nyumbani kwetu 
yani tena ningerudi tu nikiwa na ujauzito hamna kingine utaenda home utaenda home uh, yo, yo, uh, i think you guys eh? uh, you know guys how we do it eh? meanwhile uh, we need to support our lady afike maeneo za uh, Tanzania aenda pate ku uh, and if possible also if possible god willingly and if possible i also need to go and visit her, her in Tanzania and i hope so i think the last moment atakuwa na travel and if we happens to you know chip in to msaidie kadri tuwezavyo i think guys tutaangalia jinsi ya kumsaidia tutaangalia like possibly tutaangalia jinsi ambavyo tutakuja kumsaidia if anybody mwenye ako tayari kumlipia ta ticket yani ticket kutoka hapa maeneo za hapa alipe ticket hata online ani ani anitafute tu alipe ticket mimi tayari nitakuja nimpe ticket na ni make sure mpanda gari anaelekea maeneo za Tanzania Mwanza Tanzania na itakuwa ni sawa I'll appreciate that is the only thing that our sister right now anaomba sana ni watu wale ambao wanajaza kujitokeza au msaidie tu kwa sababu yeye amefika mwisho na naisi kwamba Kenya sasa hivi uh, nataka tu kwenda nyumbani aende angalia mama yake mzazi ambaye yuo inasemekana kwamba anagonjeka kabisa yuko maeneo ya hospitalini so guys my name is Edgar Diambo a freelancer journalist from Nairobi Kenya it was good and also nice meeting my sister and also sharing this kind of moment i think she is desperate and she is i think uh, going through a lot but meanwhile uh, all of these i think will become to an uh, will come to an end at the moment now she will happens to you know bordering the vehicle heading to you know Tanzania to my friends from Tanzania i was your host edgar odiambo and uh, i am a freelancer journalist from nairobi kenya tanzania na wapenda sana uh, and you guys the respect you guys were showing us i think it is just a minor case that has just happened but I, you, we know that kila kitu itakuwa sawa our sister atarudi uh, maeneo za nyumbani and i'm assuring you guys we are going to make sure that our sister amefika maeneo za tanzania so guys thank you meanwhile don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it is a road to 5k and that is good Make a pose.